It's, it's just hard manual labor. You wake up early in the morning before the sun's up and you're gonna get your oven, your horno, uh, ready. You start by throwing uh, river lava rock. Um, once you get that fire really good and going and, and you got those, those pieces of wood, uh, embers just glowing red, uh, we'll go out and get the agaves. You go out with your machete, uh, with your hatchet, and then you just go out there and, and chop off the agaves. <laughs> they're heavy. They're they're two three hundred kilos heavy. <laughs> So with your agave hearts, you kind of start stacking them in a very specific way, almost like a Tetris thing. Eight to 10 shovels come out and everybody's just taking turns. We'll do, you know, 15, 20 minutes and we'll take a 15, 20 minute break. You let it cook. Uh, and then tradition always dictates that, you know, it's a blessing from the gods, so we always got to make a little wooden cross that we put on top of the, of the orno. They go off into what's called a tahona. Uh, a tahona is a giant stone wheel. Uh, think of it like Fred Flintstone's tire. It ends up getting pulled by a horse. Uh, you will then collect that uh, crushed up agave juice, crushed up agave fibers, and then you're gonna go off to your next process, the distillation process. <laughs> When you go to taste the mezcal when it's coming out of the still, that's that. Those those things that you, they, it's hard to teach. Uh, you can potentially you know give that off to like a machine, you know, to do it. But then it, you lose that aspect of that human, that cultural connection. Here we go, another day. Now it's going to the, the bars, going to restaurants, uh, showing them the history, the process. So guys, event after event after event. Now we got a staff education at Taco Guild. So, little story about us, my family, how we started. Uh, my great grandfather started back in 1904. This is how it started. He amassed 1,500 acres through a small shipping company. So he ended up having all of this land and he had all of these agaves on his property, right? And so that's how we started producing mezcal. Then it's education, having them taste it, having them seeing if it would work in, in a cocktail, seeing if it would work as a neat pour that they could have on their back bar. I like to describe this one as the old guy that sits on his porch and just watches the neighborhood kids go around. And he always yells at them. He's like, hey kids, 
get off my porch. So he's this very like loud and robust and full bodied type of character, right? So it's the same one. He sits around for such a long time that he's gonna be very loud, robust, full bodied, lots of character, lots of things going on because he sat around for a long time. Because he sat around for a long time, he's also absorbed all of that. So it'll have like a really rich mineral feel, very robust, very full bodied, lots of character. It'll have a really warm, long lasting finish, like a jalapeno cake towards the end. So in essence, all tequila is going to be mezcal. Will mezcal ever be tequila? Perfect. Because a lot of people say all tequila is mezcal, but not all mezcal is tequila, and that is absolutely wrong. It's all tequila is mezcal, mezcal is mezcal, because mezcal is the father. So that's just kind of like my biggest takeaway for that for you guys. All right, I'm gonna scooch on by you guys as well. We've got some mezcal for you guys once we get in there. Hey, les gusta? It's some metal. See, kind of pushing this little mezcal cart, and everybody's like, "What is that? Like, can I have some of that? Like, it, you get stopped at every every part, every table." All right, good, cool. Uh, do you like mezcal? I love it. Where you been at all my life? I've been waiting for today. <laughs> Not gonna toot my own horn, but we did win world's best last year. So this is not a Band-Aid one, okay? okay? This is this is this is my family's brand of mezcal. No Band-Aids here. None. <laughs> None. I've got something that tastes like cedar, and then I've got one that's very robust and full-bodied and has like a jalapeno long kick okay, towards the end. I think I want that one. That one? So it's it's the it's a moment in time that I get to experience um, bliss because I get to share people and I get to show them and I get to tell them. Hey, like, you hear that? I, I got a chance to make this. Like, I was cutting down these agaves, and this is my family's. Like, you know, would you care to would you care to try some of this? Like, you you know, you're not supporting, you know, some celebrity's tenth vacation home in Bali. You're helping me put my little brother through school. You know? Would you guys care for some? Well, we've got a native Mexican here, so. Native Mexican, de dónde? Oaxaca. Oaxaca. Mucho gusto. Oh, you like it? Así. 